ready for some extreme machines? You don't know what big is until you've met the heavy metal mega movers at the Akati Diamond Mine. Located just 200 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle, Akati uses huge machines to work the tundra. Dump trucks as wide as your house, shovels bigger than a school, and drills taller than roller coasters. These monsters access more than 5 million carats of diamonds every year. To do it, they have to overcome incredible challenges, battling killer cold, moving mountains of earth, and blasting to dangerous depths. Only the toughest will survive. Northern Canada, one of the most forbidding places on Earth. Early explorers called this flat expanse the Barren Lands. But for a team of extreme machines, this is home. The Akati Diamond Mine, over 2,000 square kilometers of diamond-studded Earth. Three mega movers partner up like heavyweight wrestlers to pull the riches from the land. The nearly 30 meter tall D90 rotary blast drill, aka the driller. The DMAX 655 hydraulic shovel, a four story monster simply called the DMAG. And the 160 ton Caterpillar 793 haul truck, nicknamed the Cat. In their quest for diamonds, these machines will power through damaging rock and punishing weather. The future of the mine depends on their success. The Mega Movers have two critical missions. One, build an underground tunnel to reach diamonds deep below an existing pit. Two, get a new pit, codenamed Fox Pit, into production stat. The Fox Pit will be an open pit mine. That means it will be dug from the surface down. Tens of millions of tons of rock must be removed to access the diamonds below. The mega movers will have to work in expert coordination to move this mountain of earth. The driller kicks things off with a blast. The massive machine bores holes as big as tree trunks for the explosives crew. Everything about this rig is big. Here's a guy. Here's his home. And here's the driller. The driller combines overwhelming power with a wrenching twist. 30 meters above, a massive rod slams down against the rock face. The sharp, angled tip can rotate nearly a hundred times per minute. In just half an hour, it can pound holes one third of a meter wide and 17 meters deep. Once the driller's opened up a new section of the pit, his partners go to work. The captain of the team moves in. The gigantic D-Mag shovel. The biggest piece of machinery on Akati's mine site. This D-Mag operator stands two meters tall. And here's a four meter backhoe. And here's the D-Mag. This monster stands four stories high with a shovel that can hold 40 men. Its jagged teeth are coated with a special steel alloy so that it can chomp through frozen granite, one of the hardest rocks on Earth. The 14-meter arm is powered by a pumping set of guns, four massive cylinders that give the D-Mag the strength it needs to carve the rock. When the D-Mag's teeth bear down on granite, the pressure's so intense it creates glass. The D-Mag uses this overwhelming strength to move tons of rock fast. 
It's incredible. Actually, we can put about uh, 240 tons or 218 metric tons on a truck in two minutes or less. We try and keep it under two minutes. After grabbing a mouthful of rock, the DMAG tosses the load to his teammate, the supersized cat haul truck. This bruiser tackles loads that would destroy ordinary machines. The cat is just the truck to haul a mountain of subarctic earth. Here's a cat driver. And here's a normal dump truck. It's almost twice his height. And finally, the cat. It towers over two stories high. Its wheels alone are nearly four meters tall. But the cat's most impressive feature, its massive bed. So big, it could carry a dozen cars. In the fox pit, the cat's in constant motion, hauling hundreds of tons of ore. This is an all-star team of heavyweight movers. Ekati needs tough characters if it's going to get the fox pit in production. Diamond mining anywhere is hard work, but in the subarctic it requires spectacular strength and determination. For decades, few believed that diamonds could be found so far north. But in the 1980s, a team of geologists discovered special minerals, called indicator minerals, that are often found in diamond-rich regions. The geologists began hunting for diamonds, drilling deep underground. Just over a hundred meters down, the team struck pay dirt, a mineral formation of some of the largest, highest quality diamonds ever discovered. They christened the site the Panda Pit and formed the Akati Diamond Mine. But the challenges were just beginning. Like all mining operations in the far north, Akati poses environmental hazards. Mining creates waste rock and pollutants and can disrupt wildlife. To protect the tundra's delicate ecosystem, Akati works with the Canadian government to monitor pollution and oversee replanting to minimize the mine's impact on the land. The operation's lasting effect is a matter of debate, but one thing is certain. As long as the public wants diamonds, they'll continue to be mined. Yet the valuable stones are a limited resource, and the surface pit of the panda mine was harvested of diamonds over a year ago. It's now closed. But recently, Akati came up with a radical new plan, one that could bring the panda mine back to life. Geologists believe a narrow pipe of diamond-rich rock lies waiting just below the panda pit. The trick is how to get it out. The mega movers can't get this deep, but a tunnel could access the previously unreachable gems. To build it, Akati will use a crack team of underground machines. They'll dig a tunnel two kilometers long, removing approximately 200,000 tons of earth. The project, nicknamed the Panda Tunnel, broke ground in 2003. If the mission is successful, Akati can access a whole new stock of diamonds. Engineers say the Panda Tunnel could deliver close to 5 million carats, including some of the highest quality gems produced from the claim site. The stakes couldn't be higher. Future loads from the Panda Tunnel and the Fox Pit have to yield pay dirt. Diamond encrusted earth. These sparkly rocks are what the mission is all about. To get the prize, the mega movers will use muscle in the fox pit. But down in the tunnel, where the giants can't go, a crew of mining machines relies solely on strategy. The work will test both teams to the max. Ekati runs on a brutally simple equation. The mine must find one carat of diamonds in every ton of ore. This landscape may seem cold and forbidding now, but millions of years ago it was a subterranean hotbed of activity. 
Violent volcanic eruptions gushed from deep inside the Earth. Lava spewed upwards towards the Earth's surface. It carried a hidden treasure, tiny particles of carbon that had compacted from inner Earth pressure and heat. Diamonds. The diamond-rich lava quickly cooled. It formed carrot-shaped pipes of rock called kimberlite. These kimberlite pipes are what Akati mines today. The mega movers shovel out the large carrot top of the kimberlite pipe. And soon, with the panda tunnel, Akati hopes to mine the narrow, rich route. But a major obstacle stands between the machines and their prize. A layer of granite surrounds the kimberlite like a bank vault holding gems. The only way to get the treasure out is to break in. In the fox pit, a band of mega movers assembles to bust the diamonds free. Each morning, the controllers at dispatch unleash the metal monsters. Two mammoth D-Max. Two drillers and 13 hall cats. Expertly trained operators drive the beasts. It takes months of on-the-job training to fill this suit. Perched high above the fox pit, dispatch hands out orders and monitors all that goes on below. Like a nerve center, dispatch is the brain behind the mega mover's muscle. It keeps the metal giants constantly moving in the right direction. The mega movers carve the pit according to the shape of the kimberlite pipe. The machines scrape away at the granite to reveal a dark layer of diamond bearing kimberlite below. They make smaller and smaller circles as the carrot shaped pipe descends into the earth. The machines leave a platform as they sculpt. It's called a bench and it strengthens the rock face. The terraced walls protect against deadly landslides and they offer an easy way in and out of the pit. The mega mover's assignment in the fox pit is deceptively simple. The machines remove a half million tons of granite and kimberlite every week. But here in the subarctic, the vicious cold and granite can take their toll, slowing the machines down. For Akati, movement is money, and staying in motion is the only way to get the job done. The mega movers tackle the challenge with a proven five-step strategy. Drill, blast the rock, scoop up the rubble, haul it to the plant, and separate the diamonds from the dirt. It all starts with drilling time. While four leveling jacks hold the base steady, the driller locks and loads. Each time the drill bit hits the ground, sharp angles on the bit chip the earth. It rotates so fast, it looks like a twister. In less than 30 minutes, the driller makes a 17-meter hole in the armor-hard rock. But even the driller has a tough time with the resistant granite. The rock wears out dozens of drill bits a month. After drilling about 100 holes, it's time for another bit. At $3,000 per bit, it's a pricey operation. Just a pound that the, that the drill bit does to just get down to the solid rock. Like, that's what takes a goal on a bit. Step two, blasting. Meet the demolition team, a four-man crew known as the Blasters. 12 hours a day, the blasters feed the drillers' holes with packs of ammonium nitrate, often braving falling rocks and temperatures so low they can snap-freeze exposed skin in seconds. 